I've Oakstain here and welcome to another episode of Five Bookish Facts. Let's go! Okay, so this week's episode is on an author that you may well be familiar with and who you've probably guessed from the title, to be honest. And that is R.L. Stein, author of the Goosebumps series. I'm making this look a lot easier than it is because this is like gonna concertina. By the way, if you would like Oh. But if you would like to see a video kind of tour of my Goosebumps collection, then let me know. I've kind of acquired these over the years, but I am looking to augment it by buying more Goosebumps books. This is all by the by anyway. So like I said, this episode is about R.L. Stein, and this was requested by Catalyst Reads. Don't forget to leave a comment on this video to let me know of an author, a series, a book, etc. that you would like an episode on, and I'll see what I can do. But without further ado, let's learn five bookish facts about R.L. Stein. So fact number one, although Goosebumps books have gone on to sell millions upon millions of copies, they actually weren't particularly successful when they were initially released. So they released the books and they just sort of sat on the shelves. So Stein said, we put them out and then they just sat on the shelves. No one bought them. Then after about three or four months, somehow kids discovered them. We don't know how, it's a mystery. Totally word of mouth, and then it just took off after that all over the world. Then the next contract was for six more books, then monthly. So fact number two, Stein kind of writes his books backwards in a sense in that he starts off with a title that he thinks will capture readers' imaginations and then he builds a story back from that title. So he says, I never tried to think of ideas, I only think about titles. I try to get a good title and the title leads me to the story. Once he does have that title in place, it then only takes him about three weeks to outline and then write a full Goosebumps book. Okay, so fact number three. R.L. Stein has revealed what his favourite monster is, and that is King Jelly Jam from Horror at Camp Jelly Jam. So the idea behind this monster is he smelled so bad that he had to have campers washing him 24 hours a day. And then at the end of the book, the campers revolt against it and stop washing him, and so he dies from his own stink. So fact number four, Goosebumps were obviously instantly recognisable from their cover art. And actually all these covers were made by a single artist and his name is Tim Jacobus and he painted all of them by hand as well. So fact number five about R.L. Stein, the R.L. stands for Robert Lawrence. However, that's not the only name he's written under. Before he started to release the Goosebumps books, he actually wrote comedy and his nickname for that was Jovial Bob Stein. So there you have it, those are five facts about R.L. Stein. Like I said, don't forget to leave a comment below with a request for a new episode of Five Bookish Facts and I'll try and accommodate as many of them as I can. And in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in another bookish video soon. Bye bye.